Hey, after watching this video, check out the new PhoneDog.com homepage and play the One Pod Bandit for your chance to win free phones. You guys watch the show Gossip Girl? I watch the show, I'll admit it. Uh, I, sometimes I think it's kind of stupid, but other times I really like it. But I watch it, I'll admit it, I don't care. I mean, if you think less of me, well, you know, um, we, we can talk about that. Anyway, I bring it up because uh, if you notice, if you watch Gossip Girl, everybody in Gossip Girl has a Verizon phone. And the show's got to deal with Verizon for, you know, product placement and promotions, whatever else. And Serena, Serena Vanderwoodson, she carries around a flip shot. So I wonder if next season she's going to give up the flip shot and carry around one of these guys. What's up? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com, admitted Gossip Girl fan. And uh, this is the Casio XLM for Verizon, the 5.1 megapixel camera phone, which uh, this may be the top of the line camera phone now for Verizon. The Omnia, the Samsung Omnia also is a 5, .1, a 5 megapixel camera, but it's not really marketed so much as a camera phone. It's like a dual smartphone. And uh, the XLM seems to take the place of the flip shot at the top of Verizon's camera phone lineup because it's got the high quality camera or the high spec camera, we'll see if it's high quality and it's also got the 180 degree uh, rotating display which we'll show you in a minute. Uh, pricey though, $279.99 after rebate on contract. This one uh, just came out recently, it's available now. Verizon was kind enough to send us a loaner to check it out so let's get it out of the box. Serena if you're watching, um, ooh look at that, flash enabled. Serena if you're watching, is this going to be your phone next year on the season? We'll see. It's the C721. It's a heavy, this is one of the heavier bo phone boxes I've had in a while. Uh, you can't, there's no way to tell over YouTube, is there? Over videos? Here, check it out. Whoa, it's heavy. See, that's how heavy it is. In the box, you get digital photo album software, uh, Windows only. You get tips, hints, and shortcuts. You get a message from the CTAA about being safe when you're using your phone while driving. Yeah, don't text and drive. Don't talk and drive. Use a hands-free if you have to. Or just don't do I almost got run over by somebody the other day in a crosswalk. And uh, it might just be because she didn't like me, but uh, she was on her phone at the time. Uh, you get that information. You get your user guide. Bilingual user guide. You get your phone, which we'll get to in a second. You also get a bunch of stuff. So most uh, Verizon phones don't come with all this stuff, but this one sure does. Got a wrist strap, got a USB to mini USB data cable, you've got headphone, power adapter, dongle thingy, you've got... I bet there's just a thing on the side of the box that lists what all this stuff is, but what phone would that be? You've got your uh, AC adapter, You've got the dock. Oh, nice. So this is like, uh, I know somebody who has a Casio XLM do uh, phone, or a camera, rather. And they've got this dock, just like this, for their uh, thing. They hook it up to their PC, and then when they want to down, when they want to either charge or download, they just dock it in. <laughs> Whoa, earthquake. Um, so <laughs> I told you the box was heavy. It threw me off. And so you've got this dock here with, uh, looks like USB on the back and power. And then you just put it in. Look at that, it even tells you, insert. And so you dock the phone in here and uh, you're all hooked up. Hook it up to your PC, there you go. So here's the phone itself. Uh, it's nice, it's big, like the, uh, you know, the flip shot's kind of a big phone. But it um, feels a little bit lighter somehow, sleeker than the flip shop. I think the black helps, the glossy black. The lines are a little more rounded, but, uh, you know, still a large phone for sure. Um, we'll get it powered on. Obviously, we'll do a full review with this, and uh, maybe we'll put it head-to-head -head with the legs of the Samsung Memoir for uh, T-Mobile 8-megapixel camera phone to the uh, top of the line US carrier camera phones here. Get some uh, film action. Oh, mic, it tells you right there, that's the mic. It's kind of an odd place for a mic, don't you think? It should be down there. Yeah. And this phone is waterproof also. Um, forgot about that, that this is, uh, 
uh, I was reminded right here when I read completely close both SD slot and earphone ports to maintain waterproof feature. Uh, this phone has, you know, the Casio, what was that one they did, the G1 Zone or whatever it was called, Gazone, um, was kind of a element resistant phone. You could deal with the elements, the water and the dust and all that. And uh, this device, I'm going to read this off the press release, meets military specifications 810F standards for water, immersion and rain, humidity, salt fog, shock, vibration, dust, solar radiation, altitude, and low and high temperature storage. So you could solar radiate this phone and then store it uh, in, I don't know about a freezer, but in low temperature and it would still take photos. Uh, so on the outside you've got a little hidden display there, kind of nice. Uh, it morphs into the background there when it's not on. On the right side of the phone, you've got a headphone jack. It's not really a headphone jack, it's for that dongle thing that was we showed you in the unboxing. And then you've got, uh, a, looks like a back switch, which doubles as a media control switch, uh, rocker switch. And then you've got another button, this I would guess maybe for voice command or some kind of shortcut, we'll see in a minute, which also doubles as a media control switch. I would assume this is your shutter control for the camera, doubles as a media control, play pause. On the bottom, you've got the lock free button. Set me free. No, lock me up. No, set me free. And uh, your little port for the lanyard wrist strap. On the other side, you've got your dock connector that we showed you uh, to use with the USB dock. And then you've got your waterproof micro SD card slot. On the back, 5.1 megapixel camera, 3x optical zoom. You rarely see full optical zoom on a cell phone camera, but you do here. And there's your flash as well. Autofocus, flash, uh, it does video capture. Looking at the specs here. We get it. No, it doesn't say in the specs. I'll have to we'll have to find that out. We'll put it for a little subtitle in the video. And then you open the phone up and you've got uh, an array of camera controls here, your autofocus lock, your video camera mode thing, that kind of thing. Normal keypad and then your screen and the screen rotates so when you're rocking this as a camera, it goes right into camera mode. Ooh, fancy. Now is this a touch screen? I don't think it's a touch screen. I think it's just telling you what the different keys do, right? Yeah. So it's telling you, it's a little guide saying, you know, press this button, which is up here, and we'll go into video mode. And look at that, in fact, you do. And here's your video mode. And uh, let's see, we go to options, what we get for specs here, recording resolution. Oh, I see. So these aren't just media control buttons, but this is actually how you go through the menus when you're in dedicated camera mode with the keypad hidden. I see. That's pretty clever. All right. So I want to change my only 320 by 240. A little disappointing, although if the quality is good, it doesn't matter because some of these phones that do 640 by 480 video capture that the actual quality is not that good, so that's more important, I think. Uh, we'll get out of video mode here. We'll go back to camera mode. Right? I would like to go back to camera mode, please. Thank you. Now I'm going to take a picture of the Verizon Duck which was featured in uh, an unboxing video for the Motorola Rival. You might want to check that out. Duck wants some airtime. He's like, you made me pop pop bubble wrap. I don't get any airtime. So we'll take a picture. Autofocus. All right, let's take another picture. Let's zoom in this time. We'll save it. Duck, you ready for your close-up? Little optical zoom action. Now, I'm trying to tell when the optical zoom kicks in and not. It said 3x, so I would assume zoom 3 is the uh, rate. Ooh, what happened there? Did we crash? I must have hit back by accident. I was going to say, I assume the number 3 means 3x, and that's the limit of optical zoom before it goes into digital zoom mode, but I'll have to, uh, to check on that. Now, I don't know if the autofocus kicked in there. We'll do one more. Because I didn't hear it go boop boop. No, well, <laughs> all right then. The duck is faster than the eye. It's a first look. It's an unboxing. The Casio XLM 
camera phone for Verizon Wireless, their new top of the line camera phone. It'll cost you a pretty penny, $279.99 on contract after rebate, all that stuff. But uh, military grade water and, and element resistance and 5.1 megapixel camera, optical zoom, flash, video capture. Oh, speaking of flash, it did say it has uh, Adobe Flash support as well, so we'll have to fire up the browser and see uh, see what that's all about. And it supports all of your VZ, you know, VCast and VZ Navigator and all those Verizon goodies that you are used to if you're a Verizon subscriber or just a fan of Verizon phone videos. And look at that, it comes with a dock. On behalf of the dock, I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. Much more on the XLM, all the new Verizons, all the other new phones, and there are a bunch of them in this crazy month of May of uh, June, all the new mobile phones coming out. Everything you want, you got it right here on PhoneDog.com. Till next time, say bye, duck. Bye, duck! Mm -hmm.